Oh yeah! Here we go! It's time for Ian Back on Around the Bag! Hello everybody! Welcome to the show! What a great time we're gonna have tonight! It's Wednesday, it's hump day, halfway through the week that never stops ending. Oh my god, we're gonna have a great time tonight. We got my friends from New York, Marina and Ted, and then we got my friend from Northern California, Tori. Marina and Ted are comedians. Tori is a scientist. He checks things out. He learns about things. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you tell your friends to join in. Hey, guys, new thing this week. New thing I'm going to start. If you want to ask a question, send me a video of you asking a question, and we'll figure out a way to have you ask one of the questions. So if you're a, you're a regular and you want to ask that question, Ian in the pink. I'm like, what the hell is that? One of the, you know, the pink. Guys, we're going to start the show. I'm going to bring in my guests. It's time to start the show. Let's welcome Marina Franklin. Everybody, Marina Franklin, welcome to the show. It's Ted Alexandro. Oh, I almost banned him from the... Ted Alexandro, I almost banned you. I apologize. And Tony, Tori <laughs> Bellucci. Tori Bellucci, welcome to the show. Everybody, the crowd goes wild. Everybody yes. Everybody. All right. <laughs> Marina, tell everybody about yourself, Marina. Marina, tell everybody about you. My name is Marina Franklin. I'm mm. from Chicago originally, live Ooh. in New York. Been a comic mm. for 20 years. Jesus, you look fantastic. Got a special out called Single Black Female because I'm oh. all three of those things. Good for you. And a podcast called Friends Like Us that mm -hmm. features women of color. Oh, I can't wait to be on. Ted Alexandro, Ted Alexandro, tell them all about you. I have actually been on Friends Like Us. Oh, I, we have a white once a month. Yeah, oh, I was like token, it too many. The it's token white period. and the token man. Yes. Um, I am also in New York. Uh, great to see you guys. Uh, my longtime comedy buddies and my new comedy buddy, Tori. So it's it's great to be with you guys. Thanks for being here, Ted. Welcome to the show. And Tori, thanks for dressing up. Tell them all about you while you have a drink on your porch. I uh, refuse to answer your questions, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bag. <laughs> Wait, are, did you move to Las Vegas? Where are you? Uh, I, I actually... I've um, been to your place. I don't remember the grand piano. One of the one of the lion tamers the other day died, and I took over his place right after you know right. I so I'm in Vegas now. We're just we got a couple of lions in the front yard having a good time. It's a fantastic place. It isn't a green screen. This is where I live, everybody. Ah, uh, let's get this game show started. We start out easy. We start out with the same question every night. The question is, how do you like your eggs? How do you like your eggs? Let's start with Marina. Marina, how do you like your eggs? Stay. Uh, I like my eggs to stay at the grocery store because I'm vegan. Ooh, first Ooh. vegan on the show. I like it. Coming Ooh. in hard and saying, if they're not made of grass, I don't want them. Tori, how do you like your eggs? Thrown hard. You throw. Oh, you like to throw them at houses. You don't like yeah. them for breakfast. I have not had that hard. answer yet. You, you know, play with my mind. Junior high, you know. Way to go, Batman. Ted, how do you like your eggs? Lately, with the quarantine, I've been cooking a lot and watching videos about cooking. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, lately I've been uh, doing them fried over easy and you salt them. I didn't know this. You salt them and pepper them. Then you turn them over. It, it makes all the difference. That's how I've been taking them lately. Fantastic. I love it. Ted coming out hard. Tell us how to cook the eggs. 4,400 points for Ted. Two points for Marina for being a vegetarian. 22 points for Tori for making somebody watch the side of their house. Oh, fantastic. I like it. A lot of people talking about this show. They're very excited in Japan. And people are just, when's the show going to be on? They say 6 p.m. West Coast time. They say we're further west than you. So start it up, motherfucker. And tonight we're starting it on time. I like it. Guys, here's the next question. The next question is about dairy products. And I'm pretty sure Marina is going to be upset about this one as well. <laughs> Our milkshakes... Milk, milkshakes and smoothies, they're basically the same thing, right? I had an argument the other day. Let's get a milkshake. And my friend said, let's get a smoothie. And I said, same thing. Somebody just got a couple more bucks in their product. pocket, not product. I want you guys to answer the question. Are milkshakes just smoothies or smoothies just milkshakes? Ted, let's start with you. Yeah, I think that's in the same vein as like uh, muffins not being cake right like oh, muffins, mm. muffins are, are cake and and i think mm. somehow culturally we've we've been tricked into but i'm with you i i think uh they they they're in the milk, milkshake family smoothies and milkshakes are the same i like it you seem to be expert on cooking right now so i'm gonna go with you pretty pretty there, there. marina come on get out here i know you're weak from not eating meat <laughs> 
Well, I'm going to say they're not the same because smoothies no. can be healthy for you. Mm. I'm going to lose all the points in this. Mm. They're not going to lose any points. Don't just answer uh, the way you want to answer. Just don't. This isn't about a podcast about being right. This is a podcast about being nice. Gamer headset. I like to win. Oh, I thought okay. you were working. I thought you were working. I, <laughs> I thought you were. I thought you were LaGuardia landing planes while you're doing it. <laughs> Yes, no. Smoothies definitely, because I drink smoothies every day with a lot of uh, uh, sea moss. So, oh, yes. God, it started out like it was going to be horrible. Pure <laughs> <laughs> the way you started, I thought, oh, shit, my mom is watching. Uh, <laughs> Tori, smoothies uh, and milkshakes, the same thing? Not even the same camp. Like, oh. it's like... You got milkshakes or ice cream and milk. They're like the they're like the best thing ever invented. Smoothies mm. are good. They're good for you, but they're they're two separate entities. You can't even oh, put them. In, you like know it. they have the same consistency and they're cold. I uh, like a Tory coming out. And he's just showing his science background on that one. Not very much cooking, but a lot of science background on it. Let's give some points away. Nine points for Ted for saying yes, kind of what the wife felt. One point for Marina for saying <laughs> they are not the same. 44 points for Tory for having a lot of words with meant nothing. All right, let's continue <laughs> on. It's oh, my career. My. <laughs> uh, at career, guys, I get stuck in a lot of these email chains. I'm a person that starts the emails over a, like as soon as I'm sent an email, I don't go from the same email. I redo it again. I start it again. I get lost in email chains. Does anybody else hate email chains? Mm, do you know what I'm talking about, Marina? Do you know what I'm talking about? You're a vegetarian. I'm sure you get a lot of things about <laughs> when they're when they're going to have the fresh market down the street. I'm sure you get a lot of email I do. chains. There you go, Marina. The question's for you. Do you hate email chains? Well, if I signed on up for the email chain, then I'm fine with it. So for like a farmer's market, which I have actually signed up for, mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually have fights at the farmer's market, believe it or not. Oh, but, tasty little vegetarian. Well, I need to let them know like they're not doing their social distance thing. You know, I need to say this is Take what's going on. Take a tape measure with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't like though when people try to send me like, a lot of information. No, if I don't yes. know you, don't send it to me. I don't want. I it. like it, Tori. Uh, I don't mind it because I don't really like. I'm not a big email. I hate checking my email. So like, if I like open my emails and there's like 50 emails, it's like oh, okay, Ooh. and then I'll just like quickly scroll through. What yes. really drives me crazy are the text message chains. Mm. Those bug me. Yes, it's, because when you leave the group, they know you left the group, and it's rude. And then they like. Next time they see you, you're like, hey, you didn't want to be a part of our, our group. It's like showering at the gym. Ted? Yeah, I don't like to be part of anything, uh, group <laughs> communications. Um, you know, maybe it's being a comedian where it's like you, you're the center of attention and everyone's listening. But right. yeah, I don't, because it almost feels like you're performing a little bit in, in a certain sense, like, because everyone knows that. And when they reply all to, it's like, I don't need to see that. So yeah, I get irritated whether it's text does this. And there's been a lot of texts lately in the pandemic, like family texts all of a sudden. We're doing it like, if not every day, every other day and uh, and friends too. And I'm like losing my mind with like, I don't need to be in such constant contact with people. <laughs> That's true. I like it. I like everybody just saying, I don't like people. That was great about that. I'm going to give some points away. 99 points to Marina. She's finally catching up, keeping it tied. Two points for Tori for just saying, I don't shower at the gym. 77 points for Ted for just telling everybody, I didn't get into this to be in a goddamn improv group. I'm a comedian. I like Josh. Josh just came. Josh comes flying in out of nowhere. Whoever does Ian's picks on YouTube, they're not great. Oh, that's right. That's great. Thanks. Thanks. I have I have no idea. I have no idea that I, I, I don't know if this is about being a dick, Josh. I don't know if there's no need to do that. Oh, oh my God. That was, that was, that was, oh, that was just, just, just hurtful. Just hurtful. <laughs> 10 minutes into the game, just hurtful. I don't even know if I'm going to get through this. Guys, after that, I'm going to need a drink. That, uh, is like, that is like a gentle way, like to put it though, like they're not great. You know, it's like kind yeah. of a, the nicest way to be a dick about yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever, whoever picks your stuff on YouTube, you know, you, you might want to put some good stuff on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus, what, what an asshole. What, what, what an asshole. <laughs> Guys, what's your, uh, what's your go-to adult beverage? What's your go-to adult beverage? Marina, I'm guessing your, yours comes in a box, I'm guessing, because you're a vegetarian. <laughs> uh, let's start out with you, Ted. You seem like you're the most adult on this. 
You know, I'll surprise you. Maybe this is why I was on the the all female uh, podcast. Uh, I, I like a nice white wine, <laughs> a nice like <laughs> Sauvignon Blanc, or uh, yeah, something like that. That's I'm he's not, a lumberjack. Like, he's okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. For whatever reason, I'm not like a big like a hard liquor guy. Like a nice uh, a nice cold white wine. Oh, good for you. Good for you for being honest, too. Tori, what do you like? <laughs> good for you for being honest. No judgment here. Well, right now I'm having a beer, but normally I'm like a, a whiskey. A whiskey, whiskey guy. Bourbon. Yeah. Mm, just got to get a, get a, get the memories burnt right out of his brain. Yeah, right. Marina? <laughs> there we go. Holy shit. You drink it out of a box. <laughs> he is drinking out of a box. What is that? <laughs> he called it. He called it. Flow. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not drinking flow, are you? Uh, this is my adult beverage, Flow. What is it? It's water. Alcohol. Oh my god! Well, when you're, <laughs> when you, I used to drink Captain Morgan. What oh, happened? I loved it with ginger ale because I could oh, drink oh. it. At, you're a, you're a good time. That's yeah, way better oh, than Flow. Used to be a good time. Oh, I mean, that was back in the day when I waited tables. I could hide it in a ginger ale. Mm. Oh, and it was like, arr, arr, arr. that's how I would get my drink from the bartender. I was like, arr. and they were like, I've, some, I've seen Marina all liquored up too. She'll just tell a man that he sings good. It's very interesting. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to give zero points away. Zero points away. The answer is coffee. The answer oh, is coffee, guys. Yeah. Oh, there's Sharon Van Ripper. She's a hi, Ian. During this SIP, we need recommendations on great comedians. We have watched all your YouTube multiple times. Any suggestion? I guess it's not a bad thing. No one co compares to you. That's a very interesting thing to bring up in the middle of a game show where there's two comedians on it. Uh, <laughs> Ted Alexandro's got fantastic Ouch. stuff. Marina's got fantastic stuff. Tori, a little disappointing. And I, I don't know if nothing. you read... I got nothing. I <laughs> I don't know if you've read the reviews about mine, but my picks are fucking bad. My picks are oh, bad. They're not bad. They're just not great. Not they're great. not great. I, I, well, it's you know, it's, it's 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 underhanded. So go check these two out here. You're not gonna you're, you're I'm you're not gonna be disappointed with these two that are on the show. Go check out their uh, their 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 stand up. But right now we're in the middle of a goddamn game show, lady. We're trying to do this. That is the end of the first round right now. First round was brought to you by Bananas. Bananas, proud sponsor of Around the Bag. Bananas, they come in their own package. Bananas. Let's continue on, my guys. <laughs> Let's continue on. Oh, if you could fight one celebrity, who would it be? And I'll give you extra points if you know where that quote is from. Let's start out with you, Tori. Oh, darn it. Uh, one celebrity? Hmm. Dead or alive? Oh, wait. It, it's too easy to fight them when they're dead. <laughs> Uh, let's go Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. I yeah. like it. He likes a midget fight. Come on, yeah. Marina. Jeez, this is a hard question. That's why I bring him out. My brain is known for being brilliant. Yeah, because there's people that I want to fight, but then I don't want to let anyone know. Oh, I hope you pick one of them and it gets back to them. Oh, God, I can't think of one. They're never going to do your podcast. One... <laughs> One that I would fight, Beyonce. No, <gasps> see, sacrilegious. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. It wouldn't be uh, Beyonce. Why would you fight a goddamn treasure? Because I need a real singer. No, okay. Uh, <laughs> who would I fight? I know. See, this is how you get in trouble. Buzz, time's up. It's time up. I can't. I can't <laughs> fight anyone. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. We're gonna have to move on to Ted. Zero points for Marina for not being able to make a decision. Your fans were like, "Buzz the bitch, buzz her." <laughs> you, <laughs> I think, <laughs> buzz that bitch. It's taking too long. If you had stuck with Beyonce, I think you would have got fifty thousand points. <laughs> I think you probably you would have got a lot of points for Beyonce, but you didn't have the balls. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> um. I don't know. Like, I don't even know if he qualifies as a celebrity, but it just annoys me that he's even in, in the world. Uh, like Ryan Seacrest, like <laughs> just the, the people that are, the people that are like tangential to uh, entertainment um, just irritate me, you know, um, that right. they, be, they, they become at least in their minds more famous than like the people that they're interviewing on the red carpet, you know? Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. it. I love that you don't even want him in the world. Look at this guy going old. Danny Bonaducci. Like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
poor guy has been out of the business for years. Just take, bring him back in and beat the shit out of him. Oh yeah. my God. Ted Alexandro doesn't even want Ryan Seacrest on the face of the earth. Marina. <laughs> Mar oh, P. Mar Mar Diddy. P. Diddy. Oh, I would whoop his ass. Girl, <laughs> that is, look at that. You know how much control he has? He just froze your camera. That's how much control he has. He froze you. Uh, I'm going to give, I'm going to give 22 points to Marina for coming in late on that. I'm going to give 35 points to Tori and I'm going to give 500,000 for Ted for saying he wanted somebody taken right off the face of the earth. That's the kind of point. Wow. That's the kind of game. And if I look at the points, we're really close. Everybody's really close. He's got Marina's, 500,000 points. I know, but uh, Marina's only down by seven. That's interesting. Marina's only down by seven. I've been down before. Oh my God. Josh is back trying to say something nice this time, but will it happen? Ian Bag Comedy Channel at Marino. I would be left eye. She can only see it with on one eye. Oh, maybe you should just let me do the jokes there, Josh, because I know you tried to do something, but it didn't come out good. I'm you pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're doing okay. Do the jokes. And Here's, left eye is dead. Leave left eye out of this. Fucking yeah. Ted killed her in a fight. I don't. I don't beat dead people. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Here's the next question. The next question <laughs> is: Have you ever dialed nine one one? And stayed on the line to talk to the operator. Have you ever dialed nine one one and talked to the operator? Let's start out with Theodore Alexandro. I have dialed nine one one multiple times and stayed on uh, a couple. I used to have a crazy neighbor that lived across the hall from us that would fight, yell, curse. I think she had a lot of issues and it would be like midnight and she'd be screaming mm -hmm. and yelling. So we would, we called the cops a couple times on her. Uh, but I've also done it like, um, like noise, like, you know, mm -hmm. just like, again, late at night. And if it's like one in the morning or, you know, I mean, not, I understand we live in, you know, New York in close quarters, mm -hmm. but if to me, if it's like not appropriate, like one, two, three in the morning or something. Yes, of course. I'll, I'll call. I understand. I understand. I knew that you said you dialed 911 as soon as you said you drank white wine. White wine. He definitely has called. Tori, have you ever dialed a 911? I'm going to start calling Ted Karen, by the way. Hey, there's a party next door. 911. Settle down. I live in New York. There's noise outside. It's 930. It's too loud. I'm swirling my Chardonnay. <laughs> Oh, people, oh, people are not dealing with their recycling. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, Tori, have you ever dialed nine one one? No, I have. I've had people dial nine one one for me. Oh. That makes it so. I've yeah. I've been in situations where I've gotten injured enough where people like will dial like when I'm about to do a you stunt or something stupid. They'll dial nine one and see whether I not you know, whether or not I I you know get injured. So yeah, so I've, I've never done the calling, but I've had the calls. Great, that's good. The people have done that for you. I'm dyslexic. I've lost two friends because I dialed one one nine. Anyways, back over to Marina. I feel like Tori's answer should have been mine, but it's not. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Just call me Karen, huh? Because I do it all the time. You do it all the time? Oh hell yeah! What do you go down to the uh, garden to the uh, local garden and people are using your spot and you get all fired up? I get fired up. I mean, that's my triangle. First off, like right now, there's so many things I complain about. They're doing mm. construction. They're not supposed to. So I've complained about them. I've complained about the guys who smoke pot on the fire escape. And I look, I smoke too, but I don't go on the fire escape to do it. And then I don't hack up like smoke and then spit and then pick my nose. So I had my to put God. a speaker out in the window. Mm -hmm. Like my Bluetooth speaker, and I just booed them for like a week while they were going out there doing it. And then I called 911, and I was Good like, you have you. to handle this. You have changed a lot Ooh. since I knew you. I like the way a guy's got Dark Star, but he calls 911. I can't stand noise. Need quiet. Quiet. Dark Star. <laughs> Dark, oh my Star. God. <laughs> Dark Star sounds like he's going to be completely evil. Go over there and fuck people up. You can't trust people on the internet because they don't, they don't, they don't know what they're not. I got to get some points away. Nine one one. I'm gonna give Marina nine. One for Ted. One for Tori. Nine one one. <laughs> Woo. Woo. What am I at now? Like five. 
Mm, I think you're seven. Let me check with the uh, the judges. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Man. Oh, you're at 12. <laughs> you are. Oh, this is fantastic. That's seven more than I thought. <laughs> if you were going to be on a reality show and you could pick that reality show to be on, what would you like to be on? Mm -hmm. well, let's start out with Tori. Love Island. Love Island. My mm -hmm. God. We call that Anal Alley here in my uh, <laughs> Marina. I want to be on that show. <laughs> I would love to be the bachelorette. Oh, girl. Because I'm this single. Show, I'm pretty sure you're going to get that call. This show is taking a lot of people. Uh, they might not call you because you'll probably end up calling 911 a lot. There seems, be, <laughs> there seems to be a lot of men in my front yard, and I don't know what's going on. <laughs> there, are, there is 311 as an option. Oh, what's 311? I don't know what 311 is. That's when it's not exactly an emergency, but you're annoyed. Mm, I love this. I love this guy. This guy gets all fired up at my math. He gets so mad at my math. He he does not get the show at all. He's like, this his <laughs> math is horrible. Ted, what reality show would you like to do? Now, mind you, I'm a married man, so this, uh, you know, you have to take that into account. We just watched Love Is Blind on Netflix. Have you guys heard oh, of this? Yeah. One? No disgust. Oh. Hell. Oh right. man, you know, like yeah, we went into it thinking like a friend had recommended it as like a cheesy kind of show to watch. So we went in with that mindset. But it's kind of fun. It's just people talking behind. They're in these pods. They can't see one another. So it's kind of like taking something like Bachelorette to the next level where they can't even, they're just having conversations. They're talking to one another from behind a wall oh and God. kind of, you know, seeing what their chemistry is. And then they get engaged. So oh, is, there, is there a little hole in the wall? Is there a little hole? <laughs> It's a oh. glorious little hole. <laughs> a glorious little hole in the wall. Love is blind, but nobody's blind, but you can't see what the person looks like. You don't know what you're really getting. It's kind of like doing that shopping where you shop online and then you pick up your groceries. You're, you're risking it. You don't know what kind of vegetables you're going to get. You don't know. You just don't know. I like it. we got to give some points exactly. away. Exactly. 50 points for Tori for complaining earlier about the amount of points he's gotten. 500 for Marina for saying, I want a bunch of men and I want to go through them like they're <laughs> monkey bars on the playground. <laughs> Little bloody answer. And 55 <laughs> 55 points for Ted for saying, I want to do Love is Blind. I don't want to be blind, but I'd like to pretend I'm blind for a weekend. That'd be a lot of fun. Oh, let's continue on. we got one more question in this round. Time, 627. We usually go to 635, so we got to continue. we got to pick it up. we got to get it going. We're a little late starting out, but who gives a shit? We're going to continue on the language on this show. Is it possible to lose points? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, you just lost 52 points for uh, bringing that up. <laughs> 52 <laughs> points. You just take it away. Take it away. Here's a good question. Does anybody have anything planned for this summer that might not happen now that they might have to postpone? Does anybody have anything planned for this yeah. summer? <laughs> Let's start out with you, Marina. Uh, I what I think I'm going to open for Jim Gaffigan again, again. I don't know. At not this summer. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up, Tori. <laughs> I was supposed to get married in July. <laughs> <laughs> this question was all based on me finding out whether I'm still going to a wedding in July. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing it's been postponed. We're not going to that. Okay, we're, it's been postponed. Awesome. <laughs> So, so I, don't even, I don't even have to play, right? You got you got the information you need. I got the information. Let me let me call him. Bring out the carbs. We're not going. Uh, <laughs> Tad, do you have anything planned for this summer that you won't be doing? I actually, as you asked that, I was thinking I I don't have a single thing that I remember that was really planned, like anything like important. You know, I know I had gigs and stuff, but nothing like taking a trip or going so I had nothing planned so I'm doing oh, I'm fine. Sorry about that. I didn't I didn't mean to bring that up. I apologize. <laughs> Let's get some points away. Uh 77 for Tori for changing his his wedding that was supposed to be on the 7th month of the 7th day. So we'll give him 77. We're going to give uh we're going to give uh, Ted zero cuz he had nothing planned and uh I like Marina just throwing out there. I was hoping to hope for Jim Gaffigan. He didn't even know. We'll give her 62. 62 <laughs> points for saying I was hoping. That's the end of that round. That round was brought to you by my dog Pearl. My dog Pearl. She looks at me like this every night. My dog Pearl, proud sponsor of Around the Back. Thank you, Pearl. Oh my goodness. We got a quick little, we got a quick little round here. Oh, oh my God. 
Guys, this is a big question. It's going to get us through this most round. This is the most big round. It's going to be a big question. I do a lot of mumbling when I get all mumbly. Anyways, guys, here's the big question. Uh, <laughs> tell me how to parallel park. Hmm. Explain to me how to parallel park. Let's start out with Marina Franklin. Oh, the woman driver, huh? Yeah, that's well, see, uh, I would say... I uh, look in the. I haven't driven in a long time, Ian. Oh, well, let's but pretend you, I, you did. I think you pair up with that. Uh, let's that pretend you're taking your Volkswagen van someplace. <laughs> How do you parallel park? You pull up first and then you back in. Mm -hmm. um, and you should even out with their side mirror. What's that? Mm -hmm. The side view mirror or whatever. Look at this! You're getting you're getting totally you're totally getting ripped by one of the other females. Start, Start on an empty street. Thank <laughs> you, women supporting women. No, no, that was that was uh that was women on women crime. That's what that was. <laughs> women on women crime. <laughs> Corey, tell me how to parallel park. Um, just you know, smash it till you get it in there. <laughs> That, no, sounded that, that, that sounded freaky. That's what bumpers are for, right? <laughs> that sounded. It's, it's been not a while. bowling. It's not bowling, and it's not sex. It's parking the car. Ted oh, <laughs> took it in a whole other direction. That's that what was, I heard. That reminded me of an old Nick DiPaolo bit where he said, like, when someone, uh, what does he say? Like, when someone you're watching someone steal a parking spot that you wanted, it's like watching someone. Bang your your girlfriend. You're like <laughs> you're like they're they're never gonna they're never gonna fit in there. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry. And then he blamed and then he blamed it on the Mexicans. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Always, that's I always the him. end note. That's right. I love him. If anybody's been, this guy was 65 at 22. Oh my uh, god! Yes. Just angry, telling people to get off his lawn. Uh, <laughs> that's your I, answer. Okay. Okay. My my answer is. Um, <laughs> Just focus, you know, focus, picture yourself being in there and then it'll happen. Oh my God, that is fantastic. Wow. That is great answers. I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give one point to Marina because she did not help out at all. Nine <laughs> points for Tori because he's probably caused a lot of problems tonight with parallel parking. And 44 points to Ted for saying, just, you know, just pretend you're uh, banging uh, Nick DiPaolo's wife. <laughs> oh, I love it, that is good. One more answer. One more question. One more question before we get to the speed round, guys. One more question. We've got to get everybody going. It's 6.30 at night here on the West Coast, 9.30 at night on the East Coast. Probably going to have some snacks on the East Coast. Probably vegetarian snacks from a marina on uh, the West Coast. People trying to have dinner. I'm getting in the way. We also want to warn the affiliates. We're going a little bit late tonight. We apologize, but this is a very important show. Hey, guys. Do you ever listen to the radio? Do you still ever do you ever do it? I do it every once in a while. It's just a disappointment. It's just a disappointment. Let me ask you, when you listen to the radio, what is the show you listen to? Hmm, let's start out with you, Ted. You know, the one show that I tune into when I'm in my car, because I still drive a fair amount. Uh, mm. Mike Francesa is this kind of uh, dinosaur of a sports host uh, on WFAN. And uh, along the lines, actually, of, of Nick DiPaolo, he's he's got a lot of kind of like right wing tendencies. So it's more of a it's more of a hate listen because he he is uh, he's a Trumper and he's um, very he's always wrong. First of all, I don't think he really watches anything anymore. He just kind of pontificates about sports. Uh -huh. so that's the show that I that I listen to because it, it feels like you're in a museum of, of radio. You know, like radio doesn't really uh, it feels antiquated. It, unless you're in a, unless you're in some sort of storm, you don't really need radio. Unless you need information immediately, you don't need a radio because you can't go to a, a podcast about women and find out what the weather is doing. Tori, yeah. uh, I, I'm addicted to serious radio, so oh, like okay. all the comedy channels, but then like all the like the music stations. I, you know, I'm constantly I drive a lot, as you know. I drive from San Francisco down to L.A. back and forth. It's a long drive, but beats flying. And so I'm in the car a lot. I'm listening to the radio. And it's like, if I didn't have Sirius, I would be like, I, I the commercials, there's no commercials. I hate, reg, I hate regular radio, I guess. Good for you. Just putting it out there. Very sad, by the way, the way you did it. Just you were kind of down and out. I feel like I brought something up that you used to do with your father and you didn't enjoy me bringing it up. Marina! 
Over to you. What's a radio? I, it's like I never listen to radio anymore. But when I did in Chicago, Chicago is the best radio stations. It really does. So I used to listen to 107.5 because mm-hmm. they play the soulful hits. Mm-hmm. And believe it or not, 94.7, Light FM, because I also listen to light music, like bread. Oh, light I did that. Like bread. I Good hit for you with you. the bread. You totally hit me with bread with your. How uh, your... many black women do you know listen to bread? Oh, you should have just stopped with how many black women do you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you just said. Stop right there. <laughs> I'll give you the points away right now. Two. <laughs> <laughs> 99 77 2. Those are the points. Figure out who got them. I can't help you out. I can't do everything on this show. I can't do everything on this show, my friends. I can can't I, do anything. Can I make oh, one point? I, I would, I, I'm going to guess that the majority of 911 calls have <laughs> bread playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and her saying, Would you send a mail officer? <laughs> Uh, here's my last question for the night before we go into the speed round, otherwise known as picket. Here's the question. What word do you use too much? I use, I like to say, love it. I like to say it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then finally people go, do you really love it? Cause you love a lot of shit. And I say, mm, I'm a very loving person. I love it. Okay. What, what word do you use most of? And by the way, love it isn't a word. It's a two words. Tori, let's start with you as I disappoint myself. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, like, you like I'm, I'm California kid. I like oh, like yeah. and I say like you know, we're gonna go down here like in it's it's I, annoying. I, I had a like, manager, I had a manager that used like a lot and we went into a meeting and used it about seventy five times and I had to fire him afterwards. I'm like, I'm not having a fourteen year old girl represent me anymore. Yeah. Marina I would say interesting is the word I use when I'm on my podcast when I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> interesting interesting is very judgmental just to let you know interesting very, it's very yeah. interesting that's an it, interesting it point smart and still engaged no you yes. know what it is and yes. you know what it means you know what it means when you say interesting not funny not important <laughs> yeah not interesting that's and i'm not i am not listening that's when interesting mm-hmm. comes out of a, it comes out a lot you're thinking about bread uh ted <laughs> Uh, for me, it's it's just a very short word. Uh, the word "so," uh, I, I find myself a lot if I'm just speaking or even in stand up, you know, just that thing of like "so," you know, you're just buying time. So uh-huh. that, that, that annoys me about myself. I, I, I when you first said it, I thought you use it after somebody tells you something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So is, is there more? Yeah. So that's way more dick move than interesting. Interesting it makes it seem like you care, but so means like what the fuck? I don't give a shit. I'm just waiting for a coffee. Let's give some points away and move on to the round called pig it. 22, 44, 66, 77. <laughs> Guys, it's time for my favorite part of the night when I show this girl picking her nose. It's time for pick it. It's time for a picket. It's time for a picket. It's time for a picket. I want to call 911 on her. Yes. <laughs> She's stuck in a cave. <laughs> We're going to start at Marina. We're going to go to Ted. Then we're going to go to Tori. That's how it works. That's how it works on this show. Um, let's start out with this one. Marina, flowers mm. or chocolate? Chocolate. Mm, Ted, always open the door or whoops, I forgot. Always open the door. Ah, Tori. Ah, hold on. Put out. <laughs> put out, or make them wait. <laughs> make them wait. Make them wait. Woo! Love it. Very good, <laughs> Marina. That was, a, that was a hard question. That's, a, <laughs> that's what the show's all about. Uh, uh, Marina, karaoke or piano bar? Karaoke. Mm. Yeah, karaoke. Right. Ted, MTV or VH1? Uh, I'm gonna say VH1. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've I aged. knew you would. Yeah, you're a white wine drinker. <laughs> <laughs> I think are other people allowed to comment on? Are <laughs> <laughs> other people allowed to comment on your thing? I'm surprised you didn't just say so. <laughs> Sorry, drink in the shower or sing in the shower? 
Drink in the shower. <laughs> Drink in the shower. Get ready for this round. Marina, Ted, or Tori? Well, oh, oh, they're both, one's getting married and one's married. So I could <laughs> potentially go with the one who's getting married and ruin it. So Tori. Mm, <laughs> man, I get Ted, Marina, or Tori. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Tori for the same reasons. Nice. The same reasons that, that Marina just pointed out. <laughs> Tori, Marina, or Ted? Can I go with both? Yes, you can. Oh, There's me. no oh, wrong God. answers on this show, but you want to change. Inclusive. You want to change your question? All inclusive. We're a very like impressive cu triple couple. Triple. Yeah, well, that's, it's called a thruple, not a weekend away where you don't have to pay for drinks. All inclusive. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Get ready, Marina. Yes. Um, sorry or excuse me? I love sorry. him. He's very Canadian. Well, I know. I was like, is that sorry? Sorry? You just sorry. sorry? Yeah, there you go. Or excuse me. Oh, I would say excuse me. The mm. sorry sounds passive aggressive. No, it doesn't. Sit back down. Especially the way you said it, Ian. Sorry. Apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ted, apologize or up the stakes? Ooh. Apologize or up the stakes? You know, I, when I dig in, uh, I'm more of an up the stakes guy. So mm, uh, I like it. <laughs> I, try to, I try to be reasonable, but yeah, I'm going to say up the stakes. Tori, Karen, or supervisor? Who's Karen? Karen's that white bitch that complains about everything. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and, and me. <laughs> Sorry, it's Ted. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Oh, God. He couldn't even get through the game, and there's no pressure. I love it. Oh, my God. Marina? Yes, vet sir. or doctor? Oh, I would have to go with, God dang, a vet, because mm. I love animals. It's such a girl thing to say. I want to be a vet. Uh, yeah. Ted, rock star or carpenter? Uh, I'm going to go, uh, hmm, that's a good one. I'm trying to think, you know, like the, the quick flame out versus the long practical career. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Rock star. Gotten, you yeah. Did. yeah, but you can be a rock star for a long time. I'll say rock star. Who am I kidding? Rock star. <laughs> Tori, <laughs> Ironman, or astronaut? Ooh. That's a tough one. I'm going to go fireman just because. Mm, good for you. They, they Those are true heroes. Those are true heroes. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> pussy astronauts. What, no, one time, one time I had a Super Bowl party. And we were cooking, and all of a sudden, all the smoke was coming out of the oven. The oven literally caught on fire, and the uh -huh. whole house was filling up with smoke. Everybody uh -huh. had to get out of the house. Uh -huh. I called the fire department. Uh -huh. The moment I heard those sirens come down the street, it was like they, it was like the best moment of my life. So, well, that's nothing. From, I, from went on, I, like, I went to the Super Bowl. I went to the Super Bowl, and they cool. had pilots fly over in jets. That was fantastic. They were astronauts. I don't need no firemen. Ted. <laughs> I just like to point out. I think in an earlier question, Tori said that he never called nine one one, and now we're finding out. Why well, didn't call? Hold on, <laughs> mine, mine it was seventy two to fucking Tori, liars, like, son of a we bitch. Now I have to redo the math. So even when your house is on fire, you're like, I can't. This is not my thing. <laughs> this is not my Everybody thing. Everybody in the house was like coughing. We're like, <laughs> no, it'll be fine. And someone was like, I don't think this is okay. And they called nine one one. I don't think it's okay that <laughs> you nice, lied to us earlier. Nice. <laughs> I think he actually call? called an astronaut, not a fireman. Right. Let's do the math fire. times two divided by six. I got to bring up tonight's show is brought to you by Dirty Bird Sweat Sauce. If you like sauce, you like to sweat, you like birds, and you like dirty Dirty Bird Sweat Sauce. It's crowd sponsor for Around the Bag. Guys, I've done the math times four. Marita Franklin, congratulations. You've won tonight's Around the Bag. Oh, thank congratulations. you. I am I, the four. I'm like the Harriet Tubman of winning this. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> she sounds like a nice lady. It's quite an interesting name. As, as the winner, you get to be the first one to tell us about a business that you would like to support tonight. Okay. So a business that I would like to support. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Ted is auditioning for Tori. Well, he's auditing. He's, he's auditing. auditing. He's auditing. No, it's it. auditing my answer. <laughs> Ted's, Ted's um, like, I don't want to move it. Oh, chick card not, comes in. Girl power. 
It's not really a business, but it's an organization called the Imagine Society, which works mm -hmm. with young kids and changing the world. And we help we help deliver masks to nurses and doctors throughout the New York City area. I love it. That's a great thing to do. You're the best one on this panel. Ted, throw out, throw out a business or something like Marina that you'd like to throw support behind. Um, there's no real logic behind this because probably most of the people watching would never be in the vicinity, but there's a coffee shop in Astoria that I like to go to called yeah, that's OK good. Cafe. That's OK. You put them all out there. OK Cafe. If huh. you're ever in Ted's neighborhood, he'll probably see you and he'll kick you out of that neighborhood. He'll be the one sitting on the deck with the white wine. I'll go call. ahead. I'll call the cops on you. Call the cops on you. Look at this. Somebody else just heckled you, too. Ted is like a bearded Columbo. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I heard that you don't call 911, but then you brought up 911. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> you Tori? You never called 911. I called <laughs> Tori? Uh, I would say just your local restaurants, coffee shops, anything local. Right now, those guys are struggling. I mean, they're like restaurant owners, you know, coffee shop owners. Bar owners, they're not even op allowed to be open. So I would say, yeah, just try to support your local businesses. That's awesome. That's really nice. Thanks, guys, for doing the show. Thanks, everybody that played along with us at home. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow at 6 p.m. West Coast time, 9 p.m. East Coast time. I hope we'll have a brand new group of three, and hopefully some of them won't lie on the show. Uh, I'm, <laughs> not I'm, not I'm not expecting everybody to be a vegetarian tomorrow, but it could get a little goofy. You never know about it. I thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you share it with your friends and subscribe to me on the old YouTube, even though my channel's weak. I appreciate my guests for coming in. Follow them on all their their social medias their uh their twitters which is the angriest place on earth the instagram which is a lot of pictures the facebook follow them they're fantastic comedians and performers and they're just good people and i appreciate them good night from around the bay